My name is Matt Cardona, AKA WWE Superstar Zack Ryder, AKA the Thousand Dollar Broski, and I'm obsessed with wrestling figures. I always wanted to be a wrestler, and high school's almost over, and I made a little deal with my parents that if they pay for my wrestling school, I'll go to Nassau Community College and take some BS classes for a while. And luckily, I was very fortunate to get a WWE tryout very early on in my career. I was signed to WWE at 20 years old, which is pretty nuts. The biggest title I ever won was definitely the Intercontinental Championship. I won that title in a ladder match. We have to climb a ladder and take down the title. There I am, standing with the title, like, oh my God, like, that was it. Best day of my life. I look down, my dad is in the ring. And the celebration of the ring, Zack uh -huh. Ryder and his father. Much deserved, much deserved. All my childhood memories revolve around wrestling and wrestling figures. I'm sure my parents have all these stories, horror stories, I'm sure, tracking down the hard to get figures because that's all I wanted was wrestling figures. You know, I didn't really, you know, I like Ninja Turtles and Ghostbusters, but wrestling was something that I needed everything. Emotionally, I'm so attached to my Zack Ryder figures. Holding it, going to Toys R Us and buying it. I love, even, even today, it doesn't get old. If I see my figure on the shelves, I buy it. How many wrestling figures do I have? Maybe we get to 10,000, maybe? Uh, how much have I spent my whole life? Over a million for sure, 100% over a million. But like, think about it. It's, I'm 34 years old, so 34 years. So I'm a wrestler and it takes a lot to deal with someone who's a wrestler. But luckily my fiance, Chelsea Green, she's a wrestler too, so we both get it. And when I met her, I just moved into this house, so I didn't have the toy room. If she would have just opened one door and saw this whole toy room, she probably would have ran out the front door. We got engaged last year and I hid the engagement ring inside a toy Undertaker coffin because I knew that if Chelsea saw that coffin, in my bag, she wouldn't think anything of it. Oh, he just got a toy Undertaker coffin, no big deal. But that's where the ring was hidden. Let's, let's talk about these five right here. These are the original five. Now, there's series one, I consider these series one. That's the thing, with these LJNs, it was the wild, wild west back then. The podcast has definitely helped feed the obsession because, for instance, weekly purchases segment. If I don't have anything to talk about, I don't let me get on eBay and buy this, you know? And it snowballed into this, I use the term phenomenon, but I think it is. I mean, we have our own action figures now for the podcast, our own merch, our own live shows. It's just getting out of control and it's such a cool creative outlet. I think it's more accepted to be a collector in WWE, but in society as well, like 40 year old virgin, that stigma was there for so long of that, that guy, that virgin, right? With all those action figures on display. What, what is she gonna think when she comes in here? Oh look, he's got, a billion toys. That's my house. I'm not a virgin. <laughs> People ask me, they don't get it. You know, they, they think it's just toys. Like you're buying more toys. It's not toys. One of my favorite movies is Back to the Future. And they go back in time with the DeLorean. But when you open the door to that toy room, you go back in time. I'm living my dream every single day. I wanted to be a WWE superstar and I am. I'm an action figure. I'm collecting action figures, but I'm sitting in front of a case of my own action figures. So, I can collect whatever the f I want. <laughs>